The Guided by Prayer.com Daily Devotional for today comes from Psalm 63 verse 1. It reads, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land. Where there is no water. Our souls ache for God. Like a thirst that cannot be quenched by anything but God, our souls have an innate desire for communion with Him. He created us in His image, and He gave us all an eternal spirit that longs to be reunited with its Creator. Sometimes, though, we don't realize that's what we're looking for. In the world today, more people than ever suffer from depression and anxiety. But at the same time, people today have more money and more material possessions than ever before. Why then have depression, anxiety, and suicide continued to rise? Because we're trying to give our lives meaning with meaningless things. The desire we have for the next best thing, the coolest car, the best clothes, a great spouse, a beautiful home, the perfect kids, and everything else, are all just traces of the desire we have for God. We think in earthly terms and so we misassign those desires to earthly things. We think that if we can achieve one or all of these things that we'll be happier. Then when the new car has gotten old and the nice clothes are out of style, and the perfect boyfriend slash girlfriend turns out not to be so perfect, we feel let down, empty, sometimes even depressed or anxious. We run in circles trying to fulfill our lives with everything from work to drugs to relationships. Unfortunately, none of it can fill the urge that our soul has for a relationship with God. He is the one thing that can quench our soul's thirst. As the Apostle Paul says, it is the key to contentment in every situation, no matter how bad. Your entire being is designed to worship and glorify God and to be in relationship with Him for eternity. When it is deprived of the basic purpose for which it was created, life starts to feel empty. We try filling it with everything we can get our hands on but it will never be enough. It's dry and parched land with no water. Only God is the water we're searching for, and only by earnestly seeking Him will our soul's thirst be quenched. Closing with our prayer Heavenly Father, thank You for creating me in Your image with a purpose to serve and glorify You. I pray that You'd give me the discretion not to get caught up trying to fill my life with earthly things, but to fill myself with Your Word and to live in close relationship with You. I know that this alone is the key to contentment. Thank you for wanting me and loving me, and thank you for Jesus who makes it all possible. In his name. Amen. This has been another daily devotional from guidedbyprayer.com. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day. You can find a link to today's devotional in the description below. You will also be able to sign up for email notifications by clicking the link.